Good morning, Cassette, and welcome back. This is the first broadcast of the school year, and we have a lot to cover today, so stay tuned. Good morning, everyone. With the end of August close by, there are many activities as the school year is truly beginning. The girls' soccer team will be meeting today. Will be meeting today at 3:45 in room F7. If you were unable to attend schedule pickup, picture retakes will be taken on August 29th from 8:30 to 3:30. If you purchase an ASB card and need to retake your student ID card photo, retakes will be available on August 29th. Now that class schedule changes have stopped, we would like to remind you that doing your homework and staying up to date on all your assignments is very important. Here's a video made by Nick in our journalism class. After the video, we'll be back with more announcements. Okay, now you can tell them I want to be in the intro. <laughs> hey, me there. Oh, hey, what's up? Wait, what did you say? I'm here to tell you to get your homework done. Wait, are you me? For the future? Yeah, obviously. Okay, first of all, how, and second, why? Okay, one, you'll learn how eventually, because you're me. And two, I just told you why, to tell you to do your homework. Wait, you can invent a time machine, but you can't do our homework? What? Of course, uh, of course I did it. If you did it, you wouldn't need to be here. Yeah. You know... One thing I sh- ah. Back to school night is this Wednesday, August 30th, so we will have a minimum day. Plan on getting out of school at 1.15. Class meetings start at 6 p.m. For more information, please check the school website. In other news, on September 7th, Leatherbees will be holding a fundraiser for the class of 2024 from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. Be sure to mention CASA. Yearbooks are currently on sale. Take advantage of the yearbook sale before prices increase later on in the year. If you want to buy a yearbook, visit yearbookordercenter.net. Calm. Next up, Alex and Nico from our journalism class really want you to meet our new rally commissioners. Enjoy the video with highlights from the back to school rally. My name is Elicia Martinez. I'm a senior here at Castle Robley High School. I'm Mia Alvarez Sato, uh, and I am a junior. I decided to become a rally commissioner because after the rough, like the rough time of COVID, I remember coming back my sophomore year, seeing the rally, seeing the student body come together, and feeling like everything was coming back to normal. And I remember seeing the rally commissioners and I was like, I want to do that. So basically I had Bobby come up and ask me if I wanted to be rally commissioner. And I said, why not? So I decided to join it. Um, I didn't know what I was going to get myself into, to be honest. Um, as soon as uh, the first week came and I was under a lot of pressure and I was like, ah, oh, shoot. So then I went to the rally and I really enjoyed hyping up the crowd. It's a really fun job to have. It's also difficult. The reaction from the student body, I've loved the people coming up to me telling me how great I did. I loved planning everything. I loved, I loved seeing the smiles on students' faces when they're able to participate in the rally. It made me happy. Connecting with my classmates. Also, like I said, getting hyped with the crowd. I honestly thought I was going to be shy at first, but then I was like, it's not as bad as you think it is. You're just out there. You have to be yourself. Having good connection with people is probably the best thing. I'm looking forward to obviously interacting with the student body more, learning more about each and every one of them because I do care about all of them and I want to know all of them and I want to be a friendly face to them. But I think the thing I'm most excited about is probably just seeing the reaction from everyone and surprising them with things that I work on. My goal, just get hyped, just hype up the crowd, do whatever. I think the most challenging thing that I've experienced as a rally commissioner is the little aspects that you may overthink in the process of the entire thing because it is a very overwhelming task to plan rallies. I think I overlooked some things and I had to plan them last minute. Overall, I think planning is probably like the hardest thing. I do really appreciate we do something called the glows and grows after the rally where people put point out the pros and the cons of the rally, so things I can grow from, things that I did really well, and I really appreciate that, so I have been using those lists from both the past and currently to grow from that and make the rallies even better than they already are. What people got to do, you just got to ignore all the hate because hate is going to come either way, you know what I mean? So you just got to ignore it, um, do the best you can do, um, and honestly, just have fun. 
I think the event that I'm most excited to plan is probably the homecoming rally because it's a really big deal within all high schools is homecoming and it is my last homecoming so I would like to make it a memorable one and I'm also very excited to plan the senior send off one. Homecoming, we're working on that right now. Um, in the process of it actually, we're not sure right now how it's looking, but we are adding some details into some ideas that we have. Um, but yeah, it's, it's gonna take a month probably to plan, so yeah. Seniors, don't forget to take, don't forget to book your appointment to take your senior photo. Senior photos must be taken by October 15th to be included in this year's yearbook. Disney grad night is coming soon. Spending the night at Disney with other seniors was decided to be this year's grad trip. If you want to attend, you can get more information to register on the CASA website. We have a three-day weekend this week thanks to Labor Day on Monday, September 4th, so be sure to enjoy the extra long weekend. Renaissance applications are due this Friday, September 1st by 4 p.m. Turn them into the VP office. The vice principals came to all second period classes last week and handed out awards to 10th to 12th grade students based on their GPA in the spring. If you received an award, you are eligible for Renaissance. Also, if you improved your GPA by 0.25, you are also eligible for Renaissance. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at casa.roleplay.live where we post behind the scene reels and extra content you don't want to miss. Last but not least, some students in the Casa Roble Live made a tribute video for Miss Davies, a former Casa teacher who passed over the summer. The video will be shown at the end of the broadcast. For any additional information, check the Casa website. Enjoy your week and stay classy, Casa. Hello, Casa. I'd like to take a few minutes to bring to all of your attention something that needs to be talked about. Unfortunately, over the summer break, a former teacher from our school named Miss Davies passed away unexpectedly well, yeah, we after that, cosmetic we were surgery went wrong. So me and my friend Aiden would like to take a few minutes to honor and remember her. In my freshman year, I had the privilege of being in her honors English class, as well as her after school drama club. And there was no one I would have rather had guiding me through it all. The year that I was in her class, she recruited me to her drama club where I was an assistant director. In the time I was there, there she made me feel so welcomed and because of the club, I made so many new friends and had one of the best experiences of my life. I created so many connections, friendships, and memories with new people. I learned how to be a better leader, and my overall confidence as a person increased. None of this would have happened without Ms. Davies. I don't think I'd be the same person today had I not known her. She also set an amazing example of what it meant to be a strong and hardworking person. Throughout the year, I saw as she dealt with stress in and outside of school, especially during the production of our play. However, despite the stress, she managed to work incredibly hard through it all and still create a fun environment for everyone. This showed everyone how strong and hardworking she was. Miss Davies was an amazing person. She had a kind and friendly soul. She was very understanding to everyone, whether they had her class or not. She, like, for example, she had a couch in her office where people could just come and cry if they needed to. Like, she was always there for anyone who needed it, whether you were a football player, whether you were in her drama class, whether she didn't know you at all, she would always be there. And she was always so hardworking. She had to go through so much to put on the plays that she did while dealing with stuff in her personal life and while also dealing with a honors English and English class. She worked so hard throughout all of that, and it was almost like she wasn't working at all the way she portrayed it. She was so friendly, and I, I just wish she was still here with us. She was amazing. For my closing thoughts, I'd like to leave all of you with something I hope you will take to heart. While it is sad to think about, the unexpected passing of Miss Davies shows that life is extremely fragile and can end at any given moment. So while you're still on this earth, I encourage you all to spend it in the best and most fulfilling way possible. And enjoy the time you have with the people in your life who mean a lot to you. Life is a gift and we shouldn't intend on wasting it. And I want to speak for everyone who knew her when I say, thank you Ms. Davies for the impact you had on all of us and thank you for all of the great memories. We miss you and we won't forget you.